Hi. Today you will learn how to do this cool abstract loop animation in Blender 2.9. It is very simple. Let's start. Start by adding an icosphere and subdividing it. Enable Shade Smooth. Turn on Zray View and duplicate it like this. One inside one. Add a camera and position it it. Remember you can enable camera to view for a better positioning. You can also add this function to your quick favorites like me. Now it's time to texture it. Start by creating a new material, and deleting the principled BSDF. Mix an emission shader with a transparent BSDF. Enable no drangler in preferences, if you want to use the same shortcuts like me. Add a wave texture, and connect it to the factor. Add a color ramp between them. Add a mapping and a texture coordinate node. In color ramp change linear to constant and play. Play with the wave scale too. If the transparent isn't transparent, go to settings, and change blend mode and shadow mode to alpha hashed. Then set the material for the three spheres. You will get this. Next step. Animate it. We will use mapping node for this. Open a timeline window in your blender. In frame 0. Create a single keyframe for the X location. Set animation frames to 240. In frame 120 increase X location a little bit like one, and create a new single keyframe. Then in the frame 240 copy the first keyframe, or create another keyframe with X location in zero. Preview your animation, and keep playing with the keyframe in frame 120. You can also change interpolation to linear, by selecting all three nodes first. Enable back face culling to this effect. If you like I, use it. Increase waves distortion a little bit. Now to animate this. Go to Y location in mapping node, and play with it. Insert keyframe like you do in the X location. World to black, and in render settings turn on bloom. Play with emission strength, and choose the color you want. You will get this. Preview your animation. Oh god, this is beautiful. Now time to render. 
Select your output folder. File format to video. Encoding container to MPG4 and output quality to perceptually lossless. Hit Ctrl plus F12 and done. That's it. I hope you learned something with this tutorial. If you do, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Have a nice day and take care. Bye.